I just started my six months contract at the Moulin Rouge in Paris and I think it's time for a vlog. Let's go. Hello. Mm, Relaxing sound in here. If you're new here, I'm a professional circus artist and I perform together with my partner Francis. We have been performing together for nine years. Is birds in this music? Yes. Ching, ching, ching. And here in the Moulin Rouge in Paris, we share a dressing room, of course. The birds. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think about my spiritual, relaxing music? Yes, I am. There's only a handful of circus artists here. This is Jonathan, this is Constantine, and the most of the people performing here are actually dancers. But because we're technically an invited act and we just perform our act once in the whole show, we warm up when the show is already going on. We're actually also catching up because so much has happened in 24 hours. If you haven't noticed by now, in Paris, you say hi to people by kissing them on the cheeks. So there's three circus acts performing in the show. One is rollers, and then we're the second act. Time to finish my hair. And then you just have to jump one time. <laughs> Our act is very cardio. You can compare it to like a six minute super high intensity hit workout, during which you smile and you make things look very easy, although they're not. Thank you. So I'm currently doing this challenge where I want to try to do 10 coin spins forwards and 10 back, back to back. So it's front, back, front, back, front, back. And currently I am at four and a half and my goal is to do 10 by the end of January. Right after performing, I have about 40 minutes where I can train and I'm already warm, which is amazing. I really use this time to train new stuff. Francis also trains. A lot of people have been asking about him. So yeah, he also does Look this. Him walking. Every day we feel different. So training looks always different, but I try to do a bit of wheel every day. So Francis just ran his whole act. He also has a solo act just like me. Now that we're here, we have time to train it. He wants to get it back in shape so that he's ready to perform. It's a new act. It's a very beautiful act. I will show you more about it. At the end of the show, we go back to bow and then we have about an hour break between the first show and the second show because you always have two shows here. We have a total of three C wheels here right now. So this is the wheel we're performing with and between every show, we make sure it's tight and it's washed and clean. It lives right next to the stage and we only use this for performing. Thanks. <laughs> That's the thing I'm wearing. It's called a Freddy. I don't know how many costumes they have here at the Moulin Rouge in Paris, but they have a lot. And because storage space is so small, most of the costumes are actually hanging around in the backstage and it looks very pretty when you come down here. Upstairs, that's where the rehearsal rooms are. There's also a training and workout room and our dressing room, of course. Also, did I mention that Francis made all of this look nice? This is all Francis's work of art. And we're adding bits and pieces everywhere we can. So you will see it evolve over time. Warming up again for a second time. We do a little bit of a different warm up the second time. Focusing on shoulder flexibility and stability. And it's past midnight now, so <laughs> sometimes things get really, really funny for some <laughs> weird reason. We're also two goofballs and we laugh a lot during our nights here. Not funny. <laughs> finish our second act and now there's like about 45 minutes of show left and this is actually really fun because now we have done all of our work i can work out without having to compromise on energy and i'm getting back into running last summer i was running 5k after every show that's a lot and i'm gonna do 3k today but it's not gonna be every day but today yes <laughs> It's quite fun because all the artists here have a very good training hygiene. Everybody works out quite a lot and it motivates wow. me to do the same. Madonna, work it boy! Having a workout body also helps you to push your own limits and just go a little further than you would if you were by yourself. While you watch me do chin-ups, definitely let me know if there's something that has striked you a lot in this video so far. We're still not finished with our workout in this video though. Because after the chin-ups, Francis convinced me to do some abs. Madonna helped! We did 50 of these. And watching this footage back, I feel we look like this typical couple that does workout videos on Instagram that go to the gym together and live this perfect healthy life. Don't be fooled guys, don't be fooled. It is very easy to make that look like that. Something I pay attention to though, which is true, is that after every single workout, I do stretch a little bit, just a little bit, because I don't like getting tight and for my work I really need to be flexible. It's not stopping. And sometimes when I prepare for the bows at the end of the show and I go back downstairs to bow, I wonder if people have any clue what's going on backstage what? while they're watching the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after the show, I know you guys have asked for a meet. Jambon fromage F. The crab guy over the corner next to the Moulin Rouge in Paris, my friend. Good night, I, mean, I didn't pay how much is it? He invited me for my crab. If you watch the whole video, please leave a pancake emoji in the comments. Because I want to know if you actually like long videos like these. <laughs> 